Hey, 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 here we are. Keyframing 101. Keyframing, I think, is a secret to a, a great slideshow. And let me show you how I do it. My keyframes tend to be kind of subtle, especially in like you don't have a huge amount of time to make the, the image move. So you want it to be fairly subtle and um, no, no sudden jarring, like going from zero to a hundred, that would just be annoying and it wouldn't enhance the experience. So when I'm making keyframes, I tend to, um, keep the, uh, um, let's not do this one it has, well, okay, we'll go ahead and do it. I'm going to take all the keyframes off. Oops. Okay, I never take keyframes off. So I'm just gonna select them and delete. Select and delete. All right, so right now I've got, just look how this changes everything. So I've got these first couple photos moving and then the one is just sitting there. You see what I'm saying? It's just not fun to watch. It's cute, she's got her little outfit on, dead. Okay, <laughs> so that that needs some motion. So I kind of go one by one. So this this keyframe uh, went like kind of a, a pull back. And so I'm gonna wanna do a pull forward on this maybe. Let's open this one up. I, I need to look at it while I'm doing the keyframing. So I'm gonna start right here. I, I go to the end. And I'll tell you why, because um, I wanted to end with a, a kind of a good composition. I'm going to put that right, right at the end of that image. And let's bring it up a little bit. Here's my mom in the middle. All right. So I'm trying to draw your eye to her. Uh, let's bring it up just a bit. And maybe over. So this will be the final, the final placement of that, um, of that photo. And then I'm going to take, did you see how I made the keyframes? Um, let's see. When I want to do a keyframe, I hit this little animation thing. Uh, it, that's the little stopwatch. I don't care if it deletes it. So if I want to make one, I make sure that stopwatch is activated, and if I if I want to um, adjust the keyframe, I, I select it, and then over here I take my little finger <laughs> command or little finger tool, and I pull it up. To me, that is the easiest way. You can do like three o seven. You can put in the the digits or whatever, but I I don't like that. Um, I'm just used to doing it th that other way. I'll bring it up just a little bit. So this uh, positioning on the right-hand side, see how those numbers move? They bring your, your images up and down. And these on the, this um, number on the left brings your images back and forth. You see in the middle of that image, there's a little um, blue here. If I pull this way back, whoops, let's put it to 10%. This is actually how, how much that photo is blown up. Okay. This just tells me that's the center of the photo. So let's go back to fit. All right. So I'm, I'm basically just trying to find a nice place to end that image. Um, when it's done playing. The, another little thing I can do, I want to scoot them way to the end. And usually I'll put an ease on these. Um, go to, okay, so I'm, how do I do this? <laughs> I select them. I right click, temporal interpolation. And I'll, I'll go to ease out. And it just kind of softens the movement of the keyframes a little bit. All right, so when I go to the very beginning now, I know where I want to end that image. I'm going to 
um, bring it further away. Maybe I'll adjust it this way just a little bit. And it has already, it knows that I want to ease those guys out. But if it, it was like the regular keyframe, just this shape, I could, again, uh, right click, it opens this little menu, temporal interpolation, and ease in. Okay, so then it's going to just softly get subtly closer. Yeah. Notice that this one has a rotation on it where it goes so the one uh, right lower right corner comes up. It's the same basic thing. If I look in my effect controls, here's the rotation. I've got my little keyframe stopwatch uh, clicked and it goes from uh, zero probably to um, minus 3.9. <laughs> I think that just means like, uh, let's see, the minus goes to the to the right and the plus goes to the left. What did I say it was? Minus 3.9. Yeah. Okay. You can keyframe just about anything. You can keyframe opacity. You can keyframe speed. But for your purposes with a slideshow, uh, it's really just the kind of those basic movements up, down, left, right, rotation. Um, you can get fancy with it once you start to get the whole keyframe idea and put similar pictures together like I did here. And again, you don't want to be crazy with the movement. They're subtle. Your eyes trying to take in three different images of her as a kid. This makes me laugh every time. She hated that picture. This, uh, this one here. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, it's a repetitious, uh, experience going through and, and you can really spend a lot of time doing it. And I'll tell you when it all is worth it is when you finally show it at a party or something and everyone cries and hugs you and they give you money. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it can be very meaningful to someone um, to kind of it's there's something powerful about putting a bunch of pictures together about somebody's life. Um, looks like I did insert a couple little graphics here. I've got like my arrow. We've got this big picture of the whole family. Like where's mom? This is me, <laughs> my cousin John. Um, but here's my mom holding my little brother Andy. You, it, it would take too long to find it, so I just threw the little arrow in there. And I did a couple other little funzy graphics. You can tell they're up on top. Here's another arrow. Here we put a birthday hat on her. Um, we said happy birthday with her gorilla, Tara. Um, yeah, this, this took a while to do. I don't even know how many hours, um, but um, it was absolutely worth it because... It was the, the best gift I could give my mom for her 80th birthday. She has everything. And so for a, a wedding, a birthday, an anniversary, the, these are really nice to be able to do. I'm going to put the link to the finished project in um, my um, on, on the document that, that uh, <laughs> I can't talk. I'll send the link. 